I just saw 10, 10 on the clock. 10, 10. What you doing about your spiritual awakening? You going through one? What is it that you got your hands on um, right now? What is it that you are touching right now? What's with the G's is telling me you touching something. You touching something. Patting your chest. Patting your heart. That's what I just heard. Patting your chest. Patting your heart. Who got it? You got it. You got it under control. You got your emotions under control? Somewhat. A little bit. Me too. Me too. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's a fight daily. You know, it is. For us to stay in good spirits. Um, It is. It's a fight daily for us to vibe high, for us to not, you know, fall prey to what's going on around us, what may be happening um, with us physically, emotionally. But right now, you got to pay attention to what's going on with you spiritually. You know, it's 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 a lot that's going on. I heard, um, it's prophecy that's taking place, whether you know it or not. Everything that you're going through right now is prophetic. It is. It's prophetic. And I just heard someone is having deja vu. Deja vu. Like, wait a minute. I've seen this before. I've been here before. Your energy changing. It's like it's a shift that's going on. You know, one minute. But, you know, you feel like you're going through some mental health issues. And what it is is that you are trying to balance out is what I'm hearing. You're trying to find home. You're trying to find home. Home is you, though. You know, you're trying to find home. Like, you're trying to restore things back to normal, but ain't nothing normal right now. Ain't nothing normal in your world. Nothing normal in your world right now, right? Um, no. Somebody been left all alone. It's like, you know, the, the thoroughbreds, rarely have a lot of friends, you know, they, they, real people rarely have a lot of friends because they too real and, and folk don't want the truth. A lot of people still wrapped up in the lie. They love the lie, right? You have decoded some lies. You have decoded some lies is what I'm hearing. And that's because, you know, you're aligning properly. <laughs> Yeah, with this nine of pentacles, you are aligning properly. Um, that discerning spirit that you have right now, it's it's kind of like prompting you to to get out, right? To get up and get out, get up, get out, and do something. Don't spend all your time trying to get high, huh? It's something with this nine of pentacles, though, right? Something about this nine of pentacles, um. This Nine of Pentacles talk about accomplishments and being successful and something quick happening and completing cycles. You know what I'm saying? Some financial blessings. Um, material success. Material success. But what I'm hearing is discernment. Discernment. Which you, that deja vu, that was a glimpse into your future. This Nine of Pentacles is representing some... Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Something you can already saw, you know, you, you saw into your future. You were given a glimpse of your future, like a week. I'm going to say a week. It's something that's going to go on in the next 48 hours, though. That is going to shape your week. That is going to shape your week. Nine of Pentacles. King of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Your vision is changing. Your vision is changing. Somebody wear glasses. Somebody wear glasses and they have been having problems with their vision. They don't have the proper prescription or they may not have any glasses on their face right now. 
Um, and you don't really need it. You don't. You don't need your... You know what? Your third eye is being so fine-tuned that you don't even... You're not nearsighted or farsighted or a stigmatism or none of that no more. You hear me? It's time for you to be honest. Honest with you. Honest with you because you walking into a week, baby. You walking into a week with this queen of pentacles. You walking into a gifted week. And right now, present day, present day, somebody is feeling real friendly. Somebody is feeling friendly. Somebody wants to befriend you. Somebody wants to honor you. This week they coming. They come in this week. Three of Cups reverse. With this Nine of Pentacles, this is you completing a cycle. You completed a cycle last week. Whatever storm you were in, you know, low vibing energy, 612 on the clock. Whoever this friend is that's coming towards you, this is a new cycle. If you haven't met this person yet, you're going to meet them soon. You're going to meet them soon. And this week is going to be one that is going to play out so naturally for you. Um, That low vibe and energy, I feel like, you know, right now, sweetie, it should be dissipating. It should be dissipating right now because somebody knew about to have you smiling. Somebody knew about to have you smiling. And somebody new, something new, you got some new opportunities coming. Um, this nine of pentacles with your di your discernment. With your discernment, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, this queen of pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I'm 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 hearing that you know you're really not happy with where you are right now, but it's where you're supposed to be. And where you are right now, you're going to be removed. You're gonna be removed from there too. You're going to be removed from there, too. Um, this King of Wands talks about your vision and you honoring you. You being conscientious about the world that you're in, this 5D world, and, and really what you're seeing right now through that spiritual eye. What you're seeing right now, you're seeing both worlds. You're seeing... How everything is playing out in this physical exist existence. But I'm hearing you paying attention to the energy and the spirit and the souls of the people that you deal with. With this three of cups reverse, it's like it's in the stars right now for you to end some shit. That's what this nine of pentacles sp speaks of too. For you to stop some shit. This three of cups, present day, you found in a cure for the bullshit in your life, baby. You hear me? You are. You're finding a cure for the bullshit in your life. It's a collaboration. It's a collaboration of some sorts. You hear me? It's a collaboration of some sorts. And I got this I love you card sitting in front of me. It's like... There was a cycle completed between you and someone. Um, I feel... I'm really feeling, though... I'm really feeling that this person is on their way back to you for some reason or another. For one, though, they love you. You love them. Um, they want to they wanna say something to you. They want to say something to you. They, they want to tell you some good news, really. This person want to tell you some good news. I have this cancer energy. Um... This person could be a water sign, cancer. They want to tell you. Mm. See, with this, you know, with you seeing yourself as a beautiful, beautiful soul, you know what I'm saying? Being confident in your own skin, knowing that you are the sugar honey iced tea. You understand wearing your crown proudly. Shoulders up, chin up, back straight. She with the little gangster walk or the little switch in your hips, male or female. 
you know, it's like you, 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 you know who to avoid, right? These phony ass individuals, these fake homies and shit, these, these fake people who have been removed, you know, who, who, who you were smart enough to let them go. I'm hearing, I'm hearing something about your nature, about, you know, you being this person who may have a rest and bitch face syndrome, but you're always happy. Even if, you know, you're going through something, you've been going through something. Your prayers have been heard. Yes, your prayers have been heard. Somebody, somebody showing up is looking at you like you are this queen of pentacles or this king of wands. Take it how it resonates. I have a Libra energy as well and some unexpected good news that is going to trouble. That is going to trouble you, but it's, it's going to actually... You know, it's, it's going to trouble you. It's going to have you in your feelings, but it's something that you've been avoiding. You know, something that you've been avoiding for you to balance some shit out. For you to balance some shit out. And the Jesus saying, it's, it's a person. It's a person. It's a person. Something is about to go on to where you are. Oh. Heck, I just heard somebody is most definitely about to reunite with someone who they completed a cycle with. Yep, someone they completed a cycle with. This person, though, is in the beginning stages of... I'm hearing, like... You know, like misery loves company. This person is surrounded around people who just prey on their downfall. Folk who um keeping a lot of things hidden from them. And it was some fuck shit. Or it's going to be some fuck shit that happened, right? And this person is going to come running to you. This person is going to come running to you. Um, But you have someone, you know, and this keeps coming out, who is... um cool with your family. I guess y'all ain't been listening to that message. Who is cool with your family and been cool with your family, you know, like since the, the beginning of the spring? They want you, though. They want you. They want you. I feel like you don't know that this person cool with your family. I feel like you don't know that this person is cool with your family, though. Your family may not even know that this person know you. Somebody a voyeur. They watch you on social media. Yep, they watch you on social media. And then they want to bless you. They want to bless you. Maybe you have some merch or something on social media. You're selling something. Um, you have a strong social media presence. This person is a, a business person themselves. And, and this week, I'm hearing something is going to ring in the night hours. In the night hours. In the night hours. While you're rolling over and, you know... Scratching your butt or pooping and shit. You, something gonna happen. Something gonna happen. No strings attached to this assistance. Somebody is gonna assist you genuinely out of love. Mm, and when you rolling over, scratching your ass, you gonna roll over. And you gonna see a ghost. Yep. Earth sign dealing with the fire sign. You gonna roll over. And you're going to see a ghost. So. Whoever this person is. They rejected you. They rejected you. 
But they about to be going through a lot. They are. They about to be going through a lot. They they didn't give a fuck about how you felt in the past. They didn't they didn't give a fuck about how you felt in the past, but they gonna need you to give a fuck about them real soon because this person is about to go through some hardships to where, you know, the police is going to get involved. Um that's a lever or cancer in your family. Yeah. Then we got this Leo. We got this Leo. Somebody about to fall in love. Somebody about to fall in love, but you're going to keep it. <laughs> you're going you, you gonna to try not to fall in love, really. Because this person coming towards you this week, I keep hearing in the middle of the night, you're going to hear you going to hear an alert. You're going to look. Then it's going to be like, what is this? Where did this come from? It's going to be an unknown number, an unknown email, an unknown. It's, it's going to be unknown. You're not going to even be able to know where it came from. I'm hearing it's going to be some money. I'm hearing it's going to be some money. Somebody is about to give you some money. Somebody about to give you some money. I just got Journey Within. Journey Within. And make each day count. You've been up in your head a lot, is what I'm hearing. But this journey that you need is about your physical body. You need a journey within and use all the elements I'm hearing, all the minerals and vitamins, and get your body together. Get your body together. You got the ability to speak with your spiritual team, too. And the knowledge that they're giving you is the wisdom that they have. That's what you have tapped into. You hear me? And your G's been encouraging you. I'm talking about on a regular basis to stop being discouraged. They want you to practice developing a stronger relationship with them and to communicate with them on a regular basis. And they want you to make each day count. Make each day count. And remember, you know, just because it's 24 hours in a day don't mean that you don't have enough time. Everything that is happening is happening now and will happen. You So you got to make each day count. Um, when you questioning yourself and your beliefs, read something inspirational. You came here. To experience everything that you've been experiencing. So why not vibe high and do it better? You know what I'm saying? You about to grow and expand somewhere. Period. Point blank. And you got to give yourself permission to do so. Your spiritual team already gave you the green light. So let's go. 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 Let's go